From hot flushes to low mood to insomnia to forgetfulness, many of the foreign feelings that women experience during menopause are caused by changes happening inside the brain. Today, I break down the different brain symptoms of menopause, why they put women at higher risk of dementia, and what can be done to mitigate this risk. Hello, I'm neuroscientist Dr. Ben Webb, sharing brain advice for a mentally healthy and happy midlife. Welcome to episode 71 of Better Brain, Better You. Hi there. Glad you could join me for today's episode on how menopause changes a woman's brain. Many women going through perimenopause and menopause experience a drop in hormonal and brain energy levels, which shows up as hot flushes, extreme fatigue, brain fog, memory lapses, insomnia, depression, anxiety, and tiredness. And later in life, these brain symptoms of menopause also make a woman more susceptible to developing Alzheimer's disease. In fact, the the menopause consistently comes out in studies as the highest risk factor for women developing Alzheimer's disease who, by the way, are twice as likely as men to develop this debilitating condition. So if you'd like some help in understanding the steps that you can take right now to reduce your risk of dementia, I'm running a free online dementia prevention masterclass in January called Rewire Your Brain to Reduce Your Risk of Dementia. In this online video masterclass, you'll discover why Alzheimer's disease is not an inevitable part of getting older, six steps to a life without mental decline and memory loss, and the simple changes you can make to your life right now to reduce your risk of ever getting dementia. So you can register for this free online masterclass at ologyonlinecourses.com forward slash masterclass. That's ologyonlinecourses.com forward slash masterclass. I'd be honoured if you could join me to discover the steps you can take right now to prevent the mental decline caused by dementia. So during menopause, which marks the end of a woman's menstrual cycles, her ovaries stop producing the hormones estrogen and progesterone, bringing an end to her natural childbearing years. So the average age of the menopause in the UK is about 51 years old, with most women reaching menopause in their mid-40s and mid-50s. Although one in a hundred women can have premature menopause as early as their 30s. So menopause opens a chapter in a woman's life that can take her on a wild journey of foreign feelings lasting easily a decade or more. From hot flushes to low mood to insomnia to forgetfulness, menopause can be deeply distressing for many women. And while some women breeze through hardly noticing any change, many others are beset by aching joints, brain fog and reduced libido and increased risk of developing numerous medical conditions as well. So menopausal symptoms are caused by fluctuating levels of ovarian hormones, including estrogen, progesterone and testosterone. These hormones also regulate how the brain functions and the brain governs their release, meaning that menopause is actually a neurological process as well. So many of the symptoms of menopause cannot possibly be directly produced by the ovaries, if you think about it. So things like hot flushes, the night sweats, the anxiety, the depression, the insomnia, the brain fog, those are brain symptoms. And we should look at the brain as something that is impacted by menopause as much as your ovaries are. So women often talk of the years leading up to their final menstrual period, a phase called perimenopause, as a time of hormonal chaos. During perimenopause, up to 60% of women report having memory problems or brain fog. So brain fog isn't actually a medical diagnosis. It's, it's a description of a woman's symptoms who is suffering from slow or hazy thinking, difficulty focusing, confusion, lack of concentration and forgetfulness, a feeling of cotton wool inside her head. And whether it's forgotten appointments, mistakes at work, or forgetting to pack your youngest games kit for school, memory lapses, many women notice, are real and they can begin at a relatively young age. So menopausal memory loss happens to women in their 40s and 50s, sometimes earlier. And brain fog 
it actually differs from the mental decline, which is a result of brain aging, brain aging. But similarities between brain fog and age-related mental decline can cause considerable anxiety, as many women mistakenly assume their, fo- their fogginess indicates the beginning of the descent towards Alzheimer's disease. And the most important thing to realise is that there are real brain changes that occur during this phase in a woman's life. So if you're approaching menopause and feel like you're having memory problems, don't just brush it off or attribute it to a jam-packed schedule. So it's difficult to tease apart specific causes of brain fog, but ovarian hormones do have a direct impact on brain function, and the processes of learning, memory, and other higher-order thinking tasks are governed by the hippocampus and prefrontal cortex. So these parts of the brain are rich with estrogen receptors, and are highly responsive, responsive to estrogen hormones. So estrogen, estrogen promotes neuron growth and survival, has a role in neurotransmitter systems involved in depression, and influences the formation and function of brain connections. So it's thought that estrogen loss induced by menopause probably exacerbates the effects of aging on cognitive function. So brain fog may not solely be due, due to changes in estrogen. So testosterone typically thought of as a male hormone, is also produced by the ovaries and its production also declines during menopause. And therapy with testosterone actually improves things like verbal learning and memory in postmenopausal women. So hot flushes are perhaps the best known menopausal symptom and their nocturnal counterparts, night sweats, also keep women up at night. And both of these extremely unpleasant symptoms are caused by your brain failing to regulate your temperature. So during a hot flush, some women experience a sudden barrage of heat that causes their face and neck to feel flushed and overheated. Others have hot and then cold sweats, and the hot flushes can cause palpitations, headaches and dizziness. And hot flushes typically last 30 seconds to 10 minutes, but some can last longer and differ from woman to woman. And the vast majority of women experience these dramatic temperature changes for up to about five years after their last menstrual period. But for some, they can go on for longer, particularly if they are current or former smokers, or if they're overweight, stressed, depressed, or anxious. So that's a long period of time to experience these extreme and distressing temperature changes. So disturbed sleep is also a common problem during the menopause. A woman's brain loses some control over her sleep-wake cycle, probably most likely caused by a decline in hormones. And in some areas are common and often associated with night sweats, depression and thinking disturbances during the night. So it goes without saying that if you're not sleeping well, this is also going to affect your mood and memory. The decline in hormonal levels affects a woman's mood as well and can often lead to depression. Your mood can fluctuate wildly, turning from happiness to terrible lows with little notice. But it it can be difficult to tease apart depressive symptoms caused by menopause from symptoms of depression due to other causes. So it's really important to distinguish which form of depression you might be suffering with because the treatment will will be different for different causes. Antidepressants might be needed by some women, but too many are incorrectly given antidepressants by their doctor to deal with menopause. It's critical to tackle the root causes of hormonal depression caused by menopause and put in place the appropriate strategies, like hormone replacement therapy, for example. So stress can also make menopausal symptoms worse. When you're stressed, your brain will slow down the production of key sex hormones like progesterone and reroute its metabolic resources away from sex hormone production to make stress hormones like cortisol. This means that your progesterone and estrogen levels plummet, making you feel irritable, keeping you awake at night, giving you hot flushes and slowing down your metabolism, which makes you feel tired in the short term. And stress can make you feel drained, unhappy and perpetually overwhelmed as well. And in the long term, it can lead to more serious mental health problems like depression. So it's really important to try and avoid and reduce stress where you can during this already incredibly difficult time. As these same sex hormones have been regulating your reproductive cycle, when they start to decline, it can also affect your sex drive as well. Loss of libido is a really common symptom in the years leading up to and after menopause. 
And if this weren't enough for a woman to cope with, the hot flushes can make a woman feel uncertain about herself and her desirability, causing a big impact on every aspect of her life, including her intimate relationships. So loss of sexual desire is again going on inside your brain. The euphoric and pleasurable feelings of sex are largely governed by the limbic system, which is also responsible for memory and mood. So therapeutic interventions to support both brain health and hormonal production can be helpful to boost libido and energy. And hormone replacement therapy, HRT, or menopausal hormonal treatment, MHT, can be used to boost the hormonal levels that decline during menopause. There's growing evidence that very low doses of hormones often applied through the skin with creams or ointments or as an oral pill work really well for many women mitigating many of the brain symptoms of menopause, thereby reducing their risk of Alzheimer's later in life. So the majority of women taking HRT find their motivation, energy, focus and memory really improves. And this has a very beneficial effect on the quality of life, but also their ability to function and work. So it's important to say that not all women are eligible for hormone replacement therapy because of their medical history. So this is a treatment option that really should be carefully considered in discussion with your GP or physician. So as I mentioned at the top of the show, if you'd like some help in understanding the steps that you can take right now to reduce your risk of dementia, I'm running a free online dementia prevention masterclass in January called Rewire Your Brain to Reduce Your Risk of Dementia. In this online video masterclass, you'll discover the steps you can take in midlife and late life to prevent or manage the symptoms of dementia. So you can register for this this free online masterclass at ologyonlinecourses.com forward slash masterclass. That's ologyonlinecourses.com forward slash masterclass. So I hope today's episode was helpful. It's been a pleasure spending time with you and I will look forward to seeing you next time.